Welcome to HOS Technologies. Here we are demonstrating battery management system. So BMS. So the main application of this project is we can implement uh, this in real time electrical vehicles. So in electrical vehicles, while the battery getting charged, so there is a, there will be a chance of temperature increasing due to the heavy load or battery inside the low level of acids. So then the battery will get heat up and this will be detected by this LM35 temperature sensor and whenever the abnormal detected then automatically pick microcontroller will give the audible alerts so here the whole system controlled by the pick microcontroller coming to the input section so we are uh, providing three batteries inputs to the pick microcontroller through this potential divider circuit so this is the voltage measuring circuit from there we are going to divide in the voltage uh, in 1 is to 10 and it will be given to the pick microcontroller a0 a1 a2 pins and then uh, coming to the output section so buzzer as well as relay and lcd 16 by 2 so coming to the buzzer interface at the c4 pin of pick microcontroller and lcd interface at b2 to b7 of this pick microcontroller and three relays will interface uh, or interface it to the c4 uh, c5 c6 c7 of the microcontroller and coming to this motherboard so it consists of input section of 5 volts we are giving directly 5 volts input from the adapter and a capacitor and a reset switch and a crystal oscillator and this red LED is a power LED indication and green color is a programming LED indication so whenever the abnormal detected as I said initially it will get the buzzer alert as well as the LED green LED alerts on the motherboard and coming to this relays these relays are in series from the charging section to the battery so whenever the next uh, part of the project uh, system is whenever the battery voltage is less than 10 volts and this microcontroller will switch on the relays in order to charge a battery and whenever the battery voltage is sufficient then the microcontroller will isolate the charging part to the battery uh, by enabling uh, disabling the relays so coming to this relays <coughs> this is the electromagnetic relay which can operate at 5 volts and can control up to 7 amps and coming to this one this is a charging circuit so uh, in the charging circuitry so we are going to give the input from the 232 12 volts AC transformer and the AC signal 12 volts uh, voltage will be given to the rectifier section this is a DB107 rectifier and after this we will get the 12 volts pulsating DC and after this capacitor we will get the PIRP DC and after this 7805 we will get the 5 volts so though it's not required in our projects and this uh, 12 volts is sufficient to charge a 12 volts battery so each battery here one cell is consist of 4 volts 3 are connected in series so it's a 12 volt 1 amp so of 3 banks so it's a 12 volts of 3 amps battery so let us see the demonstration So it will come message. So after that, it will display the voltage levels. So now, as of now, uh, this first battery is very low voltage battery. So after that, so initially, as we observed that the charging uh, switched on by the relay, and just I'm removing the first battery. So there, you can see that is zero voltage, and particular relay got switched on, and now I connected that. So the after battery voltage measured by this microcontroller so it will be off and now next second battery right so low battery pack low voltage so now the charger got switched on and now I connected so now battery of pack 2 done and pack 3 right okay so in this manner we are going to controlling and regulating the charging section and coming to the temperature increasing whenever the temperatures temperature increased right so we will get the audible buzzer alerts and whenever the temperatures slow down to normal temperature yeah so 50 degrees temperature is limit. Thank you.